Hi, my name is Ophir Gabay, bringing you another QuickBooks Online tutorial. And today I wanted to go over how to record uh, bad debt. So we're writing off invoices. Um, and you do this uh, whenever you can't, uh, there's no hope of collecting um, payment on an invoice that you issued to a customer or a client. Um, and so let's dive into this. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to check is to see if you have a bad debt expense on your chart of accounts. And this is a sample QuickBooks company file and I already checked and they don't have a bad debt expense on here. So we're going to create a new one. Uh, to get to your chart of accounts, you click the gear icon and then under settings you click chart of accounts or you can simply hold uh, control alt a to get to your chart of accounts. Okay, uh, so we're going to click New, and it's going to be, the category type is going to be Expenses, and the detail type is Bad Debts, uh, that name is, is fine with us, we're going to click Save. Okay, so now we have our Bad Debt Expense in our chart of accounts. The next step is to create a product or service called Bad Debt, so you do that by clicking the gear icon. And under the lists column, you'll see products and services. Click on that. And we want to create a new product or service. And we're going to call it bad debt. Uh, we don't want to track quantity on hand, but uh, we want to enable uh, uh, the expense account. So we, we click this checkbox. Uh, the description, we're going to call it bad debt. Let me copy this. Uh, we don't need a price, we don't need a cost. Um, and then we simply select our bad debts expense account for each side. not taxable. Save and close. There you have it. So now we have our product uh, or service called Bad Debt. The next step is going to be to issue a credit memo to the customer that is uh, defaulting on their invoice. So uh, if we go into our customer center, and you could also press Control alt c to get there, uh, you'll see that I think uh, Amy's Bird Sanctuary. They have an invoice of two hundred thirty-nine dollars um, that's overdue, so we just want to write that off. Uh, we tried contacting them and they don't answer. So uh, to do that, you click the Quick Create icon, the plus icon on, on the top of the screen, and under Customers, we're going to create a credit memo. And the customer is Amy, Amy's Bird Sanctuary. And the product or service is going to be bad debt. And the amount you have to take from the invoice that you're, you're writing off. So it was $239, I believe. So you enter that. That's not taxable. Um, OK. Everything else looks great. Uh, make sure that the date is correct. This is going to be the date that you're writing off the invoice. Um, and then you want to save and close. Okay, so now we have a credit memo on the account. We just have to apply that credit memo to the invoice that we're writing off. To do that, you click the plus icon, the quick create icon on, on the top. And under customers, click receive payment. So we're receiving payment, and uh, the customer is Amy's Bird Sanctuary. Okay, what happened was in this file, I guess we have uh, we have the settings set to automatically apply uh, credits, but if we did not have that set, actually, let me see if I could take that off. Because I wanted to show you what's going to happen if we don't have that on. 
Well, as you see right now, because that setting was on, it automatically applied the credit to the invoice. So they no longer have an outstanding balance and that invoice is closed. Uh, so that just goes to show you that this is not rehearsed. This is actually, I'm, I'm doing this on the fly. So uh, there's a company setting to uh, automatically apply credits right here. If you go into your company settings by clicking the gear icon and company settings, and then you click advanced, there's uh, this automation feature to automatically apply credits. Okay, so that was on. Uh, I'm going to uncheck that and save this and see if um, I want to see if that no, it, it's, still, it's still in there. Okay. Well, uh, let's see if there's another invoice that we could write off. Okay, we're going to write off this invoice, this for Freeman uh, Sporting Goods. The amount's $477.50. I just want to show you what it looks like if you don't have that automatic, uh, to automatically apply uh, credits. So we're going to do a credit memo. It was $477.50. I'm going to open this in a new tab. You could uh, click the middle mouse button on any link and it's going to open it in a new tab, just in case you didn't know. So it was uh, Freeman Sporting Goods. Right. And uh, the sub customer was uh, 0969. So we'll select that. And again, the product or service that we use is bad debt. The amount of the invoice that we're writing off, $477.50. And let's save and close. You want to be careful here. You don't want to press uh, save and send because then it's going to email them uh, your credit memo. And you don't want to do that just in case they happen to, to pay. Uh, so let's save and close. And if we go back into our uh, customer center for uh, Freeman, you'll see that we have the 477.50 credit memo and it's unapplied so we still have this invoice that's open and right now I'm going to go through and show you the final step of applying the credit to the invoice you do that by clicking receive payment under the customer column and if we enter free Freeman Sports you'll see that this is the invoice outstanding you click that and then you match it with the credit memo and your amount received should be zero and that's all that's all it takes you just save and close and there you have it the invoice is written off and it's in our bad debt expense if you want you can take a look at the profit and loss really quickly So uh, let's do this for uh, this year to date. And if you look down at our expenses section, you'll see that we have a bad debt expense of $716. And if we click into it, we will see that it's the two invoices that we, the two invoices that we've written off today, uh, the $477.50 and at $239. Okay. Um, if you like this video, if you found it useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. Uh, and if you ever need any help with uh, QuickBooks consulting or training, please feel free to call me. My number is 954-358-9487. You could also visit uh, quickquickbooks.com. Uh, and thank you for watching and have a nice day.